Hey, everybody, I'm bad. Um, this is a touchy st- uh, subject for me, a touchy project for me, because I always find myself not worthy of anybody. And I always find myself not fleeing away from the dating scene. And I always find myself not good enough. Uh, And I always say to myself, which I be knowing that I'm lying to myself. I always say, I don't want a relationship. But deep down in my heart, I do know that I want a relationship. And that I do know that I want somebody to be with me. So today, I'm finally going to open it up about wanting to be in a relationship. Don't know if somebody accept me the way I am. I do want to be in a relationship, but I don't know. What is the word? I don't know if nobody will accept me for who I am. The reason why I say that, I mean, I talk, I talk a lot. I, mean, I talk a lot of stuff and talk about self worth is, is good, and which it is. And I talk about, but the one insecurities I have is now is that you know, ever since my accident, I feel and knocked out my teeth, which I had goals. That's not really important, but I did fall and knock out my teeth. I broke my neck. I'm paralyzed. I'm confined to the bed. So I always be hard on myself to saying, what could I do for anybody? You know, what could we do in the relationship? Because we won't be able to do uh, um, nothing. Uh, and we won't be able to, you know, spend time together, if you know what I mean. And we it, we won't be able to go out to the clubs or the movies because, you know, day in and day night, I, I find myself getting tired of even staying in the house now. You know, sometimes I, I get, I, I, I just be wanting to like, after I get through recording, I just be wanting to get up and go out and enjoy life. But I find myself not be able to do that because the position that I am in, uh, and I find myself like, maybe I say, I put myself back out there. A couple of weeks ago, a friend set me up on this app and I put myself back out there. Just the, you know, try and see how things go and what everything will be okay. You know, so I put myself out there and I put myself, you know, I'm pretty sure y'all are familiar with the app called Adam for Adam. So I put myself out there and I met someone. I did. But for the reasons that I thought that it was okay because he was saying that he wanted to be in a relationship and this and that, it wasn't for that reason. It was for the wrong reasons. He wanted me to pay his tuition. He wanted me to buy him a phone because his phone was messed up and he was like on uh, uh, with a, a prepaid phone. He didn't he didn't take me serious. You understand what I'm saying? He wasn't trying he kept saying that he wanted to get to know me better. He wanted to come and visit me. And y'all, I wasn't like to him. I was straight up to him. I told him I was paralyzed. I told him I had seizures. I told him I was HIV. But I think what kind of ran him off, y'all, was when I was beginning to tell him that I was transitioning to be a transgender. I don't know if I should have told him that, but I don't know if I should should uh should uh should have. But what I do know, I wanted to get it all out the way. So it won't be no questions because, you know, like I was watching Queen's Court. Was it Queen's Court? No, it wasn't Queen's Court. Queen's uh, Fox, Fox Soul. And they were saying that it was a little incident about Macy Gray and what she said in the trans community. And uh, that don't matter how many body parts that you get 
or whatever, you still not considered a woman. You know what I'm saying? So she was, and then they was put into that just like if you get into a relationship and you marry a person, you still got to tell them that you was born a, a, a man, you know, and you can't have kids, you know, and, and all of this, where this started from. So I didn't want to start late in telling the person that I never want to start late telling the person who I am. I want them to know the whole book about me because I'm an open book. I'm an open book, y'all. I want them to know everything about me. It's not nothing that I don't want them to know. So when I, I find myself telling the guy, I just find myself every day, it was like lack of calls, uh, lack of texts. Uh, he claimed he go to school and he was trying to get, I think he said his bachelor's or his master's in engineering. But what were you doing to get this, do uh, pay your tuition before you met me? And I said, I, I asked him, I told him, you know what, do you think it's okay for you to uh, ask me for money and you just not getting to know them, get not getting to know me? And he, he said, and he wrote back and said, well, if you look at it like that, this and that, that and this. I said, I don't even really think that it's good for us to even try to even like get to know one another. I said, uh, I don't know if I said, I think we should just be friends or whatever. Or I hope, but I did say, I hope you find you somebody within the reach that you can make happy, that can pursue the dreams that you're looking for or pursue the thing that you're looking for. I, I, I'm i not scared of a rejection. I think I'm more scared of not being with someone. You know, now that they don't make this law about us getting married, I think that that's something I would like to experience. Because, you know, I've never been married. You understand what I'm saying? So I think that was that would be one of the things that I would love to experience. I would love to experience on maybe having me a husband or having me a family. You understand what I'm saying? I made a way to too late, and then I made a not way too late. Who knows? You know? But at the end of the day, I just didn't... I wasn't feeling like he was the one. I always feel like every time I got off the phone, it was something more to him. And as the days progressed and as the days grew stronger and we was talking every day, like sometimes he would talk and I get you know, I would be on the computer and I would be recording. Or sometimes he would talk, uh, calm, and, and then I'd say, well, let me get through recording. And so I would find myself, well, maybe I'm putting him off on hold. So sometimes I would just talk to him for a little bit and then I would get back on my computer and start recording because, you know, my YouTube channel is important to me, to anybody. And like I said, to make a long story short, I just found myself when... I think I just found myself not clicking with him, you know. I just found myself feeling like it's something going on and I didn't know what it was. But luckily, I got to the red flags before I could proceed on, you know. Because, like I said, I'm an open book. I want to tell any and everybody about my story. Hey, if you go on my YouTube page, you are here by my you are here by my HIV story. You are here by my paralyzation story. You are here about everything that you need to know about me. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. It's an open book because that's just who I am. But anyway, y'all, I'm not going to keep y'all too long, and uh, I'm gonna get off of here. I just wanted to do uh, a story time about this.